add on treatments in IVF. There used to be a time when IVF treatment was reasonably simple. You took the eggs, you added the sperm, you made an embryo and you put the embryo back in the uterus. And if patients got pregnant, that was a happy ending. But the reality is lots of patients didn't get pregnant and therefore patients were upset. They wanted to know things like, why did my cycle fail? What else can you do for me? What can we do different, which is new? What else can we explore in order to increase my chance of getting pregnant? And these are what we call the add-on treatments, things which doctors add on to the IVF treatment cycle. The explanation for the add-ons, of course, is that, hey, we'll do more stuff. We'll use the latest technology, the latest tests and the latest treatments to increase your chance of getting pregnant. I wish that were true. But the reality is a lot of these add-ons are a complete waste of time and money and energy. They do not increase the chance of the patient getting pregnant at all. But unfortunately, patients don't know this. And doctors sell a lot of these add-on treatments very aggressively because they help the doctor to make a lot more money. So add-on treatments don't help patients, but they help the clinic and they help the doctor. And it's a huge list. These could be very, very simple things like intravenous intralipids, for example. They could be a little more complicated like intravenous immunoglobulins. There could be lots of add-on treatments which people use routinely all the time even though there's no evidence that they help. For example, using low molecular weight heparin after an embryo transfer with the hope that it will increase blood flow to the uterus and increase chances of implantation. And sometimes doctors do these add-on treatments so mindlessly and mechanically, not because they help the patient, but because that's part of their clinic policy. And as I said before, the more you do for the patient, the more you can charge the patient. And interestingly, the patient is happy because you've done all the extra stuff because the patient feels, hey, I got all the latest possible care. And in fact, sometimes patients add to the problem by asking for add-on treatments because they read about this in a press release or on a website where a doctor talks about something like MC or something like an embryoscope, all fancy high-tech stuff, but doesn't help to improve pregnancy rates. The biggest problem are the two techniques which are being sold so much left, right and center.